Hey guys, welcome to another video for the Zenfone Pro M1. Today we are going to install and preview Aero OS which is based on Android 9 for this particular device. Now there are mixed reactions that I'm getting towards this ROM. So of course this is an installation and first look as to why should you go ahead and install or why should you not install this particular ROM. Now I've never tried this on this device. So my impression or my verdict is going to be as good as yours. And as I mentioned in one of the previous videos, there will be a second video coming about this particular ROM which is you know my first 24 hour experience with that ROM. and then there'll be a full review as well. So before we begin, if you haven't already, please subscribe and hit the notification bell icon because we do awesome stuff with smartphones. At the same time, here's a card to my second channel that is Kratos390. Go ahead and check that channel out as well. Now, without further ado, hello awesome people. Welcome to Smartphone Tutorials. My name is Kalash. Let's get going. Hey guys, welcome to another video and in today's video we are going to have a look at Aero OS which is based on Android 9 for this device right here. That is correct, yet another day, yet another install and preview based on Android 9. The name is Aero OS and we will take care of the usual disclaimers first. So you need to have TWRP and you need to download the ROM and Google apps to your phone's external memory because we will be wiping the internal storage to have a very very clean flash at the same time make sure you've backed up all your data including your internal storage because we will be wiping it and you need to have at least 50 percent battery now considering that you've taken care of all of those usual stuff you need to go to wipe advanced wipe delvic cache system vendor data and internal storage needs to be wiped so swipe to wipe and once the wipe is complete you just need to go to install up a level external SD and locate Aero OS. There we have it. This is dated the 19th of September and select add more zips and locate open Google apps. Select the one which has Android 9 on it and swipe to confirm flash. So this flash will basically take five to seven minutes. So please be very, very patient. And now that we have selected two different files, that is the ROM as well as the G apps to be flashed together. So this flash will take anywhere between five to seven minutes. So please be very, very patient. And especially we have selected the Google apps and the ROM to be flashed together. So please be patient while that happens. And once that happens, we will boot into the ROM. We will have a quick look for one or two minutes and then we will maybe decide if we should use this as a daily driver and review it at a later time or not. Let's wait for the ROM and G apps to be flashed and then we can proceed. All right, now, as you can see on the screen, the ROM has been flashed. So all we need to do is go to reboot system and do not install and wait for the ROM to boot up. Now we will definitely have a look at the boot animation. And I know the screen is dirty, but that's okay because we are shooting a lot of videos today. In fact, all the installs and previews that you'll see in the coming week, five or seven of them have been shot in one day. So if there is a new build that has come up after I flashed it, please, please excuse me because I will always use the latest version when I will review that particular ROM. Okay, that's the arrow boot animation and it's a very, very simplistic arrow pointing upwards. Looks great let's wait for the rom to boot up and then we will go ahead and have a look if there is anything special in this particular rom all right so as you can see at the screen well we have booted up so i'll quickly skip through the setup and i'll show you the rom around now, i must say that from the first impressions it looks to be a very very fast rom is what i would say i don't know if they've made any changes or not and the look and feel of this rom is much much more different compared to other roms now first of all let's quickly go to settings here and let's see what we have for example if we go to system and if we go to about phone of course we have android version 9 and the security patch is 5th september that is all good so if we go to settings and if we have any customization over here not really so if we go to system you have gestures and all the usual stuff you have advanced reset options so not really a lot of customization what do we have here this particular okay that's just a browser so very very minimalistic apps over here and if you look at the camera i think it is a usual google camera that you see in a lot of custom roms am i correct yes i am so this is once again a very very you know vanilla based aosp experience and for some reason the front camera is not loading so that is one bug that we have found and the gestures are not there the multitasking menu is not like stock android pi let's quickly try to fire up the camera once again 
all right so looks like the front camera is not booting up for some reason that's really really strange nonetheless if we have a quick look at this particular rom there are very very few apps like browser calculator all the important applications are there apart from that i don't see anything extra correct me if i'm wrong guys because this is a usual colorful android pie user interface so then we have like three or four different custom roms which are all right now before we come to a conclusion with this particular rom the auto brightness doesn't seem to be working because even when i am lowering the brightness or increasing the brightness there is no difference and i have come to know that voice over lte on this rom is not working so let me just quickly go ahead and give that a try there you go so of course not recommended for your daily driver at all but i just wanted to install it for you guys and show you a quick preview of what aero rom is and you know these bugs they are there now but they will be fixed very very soon so for now i would not recommend you guys to go ahead and install this rom because there are a couple of bugs which are really really a deal breaker and as you can see the brightness is all the way high so wait for some time let it get some updates and i'm pretty sure the developers will fix it but for now until the next one this is kalash signing off at smartphone tutorials keep smiling take care and stay tuned goodbye